Hello and welcome to this Mac tutorial for Enadius. I was having trouble downloading it on my Mac, so I figured I'd show you how I figured it out. On a Google tab, you're going to type Enadius, hit search, and click the first one here that should look like this. Once you're in, click read the instructions page. You're then going to click Mac OS, and I have The Sims installed. You should have The Sims 4 installed before starting. Um, also, click the legit version of the game. You can download it for free from the EA website. So, clicking Sims 4 updater and scrolling a bit down, you'll see this message saying that you don't have an app blocker installed. You want to get an app blocker installed. I'm just going to show you the one recommended by Anadius. Search up uBlock Origin Lite and click that Chrome Web Store link. Add to Chrome. Let it add extension. Let it download. And once it's downloaded, you want to hit that little extensions button, pin the extension, and you'll see different modes for filtering that I'll show later, like here. The filtering mode, we're going to put it to complete, and you'll see the text will disappear. So the ad blocker now works. At this point, hit download for Mac. When we scroll down, you'll see the message again. Just reactivate to complete filtering mode and hit go file. You could hit any of the links, I just prefer go file. Once you're in, click Enadius tools, and it'll start downloading. Once Anadius has downloaded, you're going to open up your finder, go to downloads, and you'll see Anadius tools. You're going to open with archive utility. This should be the default. Don't use any other archiving thingy and uh, let it open up the zip file. You can hop into that folder and you'll see these two files. Now, when I try and double click Anadius Tools, it'll show me that the file is damaged. Don't move it to the bin, just hit cancel. And then do the right click open to fix demand. For me, I get this right click open to fix app damaged, just hit done. Help into system settings, privacy and security, scroll all the way down. You'll see this, hit open anyway, click open anyway, use your password, and you'll see this. So for me, this doesn't work. I'm still going to do it, but that wasn't enough. As you can see, I still get the damage command. So I figured out that I had to hop into my system settings once again. Still in privacy and security, but we're going to scroll up and go to full disk access. Here you can see that terminal is already part of my full disk access, but if it if it's not, just hit the plus, use your password, and search up terminal. Click on the application, open. It's gonna ask you to quit and reopen it, and as you can see, it's now turned on. So we're going to close that down, hop back in. I'm going to do the right click to open once again. Not sure if it's necessary, but I'm just doing it. I'm closing down the terminal windows and I'm going to click on Anadius tools two times. Remember that Anadius tools will open in the very back as the wine application. And it'll open up and you'll see this. Once you're here, click Run Sims 4 Updater. It'll open up and look like this. So once it's opened, you want to have that little tap there saying 
the Sims 4 packs. If it doesn't, hit browse and look up the Sims 4 packs. Now we're going to hit update. Inside update, you're going to see all these boxes. I don't have that many because I have all of the packs installed. I'm just missing the stuff packs. I'm just going to hit check all. That little box and OK. It's going to ask if you want to play the game while updating. I'm just going to say no. And the update, well, not the update, but the download is going to start. And it'll take a while since it's running on public servers. But for me to download all the packs, uh, the expansion packs, it took about an hour and a half. It only took about 10 minutes because I was just downloading the stuff packs this time. But expect to be waiting a little bit. Once downloaded, you'll see this, and you can then close down those windows. And I'm just going to reopen Enadius to go back to the start page. And once you're playing, you want to hit start offline or offline, and you're going to keep this window open every time you play. You want to open that window. So now we're going to just hit up EA app. It has to show this code. Don't be scared. That's on purpose. We're going to open up The Sims 4. And unfortunately, I couldn't film while I was playing the first time. So when I opened up The Sims game and loaded it, the usual pictures you would see from purchasing packs will come up saying that You've got this new pack um, that won't show, but I'll just show you inside the game that I now have all those stuff packs downloaded. Here you can see all the packs that I have downloaded now and all the stuff packs I've just downloaded. And here we go.